Hey guys, so this morning um, my kids were, you know, just talking in general and um, my daughter said she had a dream that she was able to uh, ride her bike with no training wheels and she was super excited and I was like, wow, it sounds like a really good dream that you had and she goes, yeah, I'm glad I won't be sad today and I had to remind her that sadness is just part of life and it's something that we deal with all the time and she said, you know, I know. She's only five, so, and she's really learning how to empathize with other people and um, taking in the time to, you know, ask questions and understand things. And so I said, you know, it's, it's okay to be sad sometimes, um, but when you're sad, we need to make sure that we have a healthy way of, of making us feel better. And she goes, I know. And something that um, she struggles with a lot is that she gets sad for a lot of different reasons. She's very sensitive. And so it made me think like grief isn't just about like the death that we experience in our life. Um, but there's so many other reasons why we grieve. And so, um, just to take into consideration that in your, in your time, um, even in the past year, the time that you've spent, you know, just living your life, you've probably grieved over many different things. So, um, Grief can come from death of a loved one or, or, you know, even, you know, actors, actresses, people that we felt connected to, um, you know, losing relationships, having divorces, separations, um, a shift in how somebody is or behaves. Um, so if you are, you know, in a relationship with somebody who just all of a sudden changed and you're kind of grieving the loss of that old relationship, um, you can grieve you know, financial loss, job loss, um, something that people forget too is like a new diagnosis, illness, injury, ability to do something that now you can't, um, if you used to be able to, you know, work out every day and then you sustain like an injury that, that doesn't allow you to do that or, or causes you pain, then you grieve the loss of like that mobility. And so there's all sorts of different other reasons why we grieve. Um, and I'd like to learn a little bit more about reasons why you grieve. Think about like this last year has been the hardest year for us. And I'd say that I've probably had about five or six different reasons why I was grieving this year, which is probably why my grief in general has been prolonged longer than normal. And it's probably like that for a lot of people, especially coming out of a pandemic. So, um, you know, comment and share what are the different things that you've been grieving this year and how are you getting through it?